Hey, we can fight nine seven six. I'm actually here with a little something different. I'm actually here to do a movie uh, one. You now it's the weekend. Might as well do a fun one uh, for people out there. Uh, I think you get a little too intense and stuff on politics, so uh, I will have a political video on Monday. Uh, it'll be about the two-faced uh, you know, how people are more accepting of Republicans who can cheat and lie in relationships and stuff, but Democrat does it, then he's got to go out the door. Uh, but anyway, um, today I am here to talk about one of my favorite people I met at a convention. Um, uh, I went to, I didn't, uh, a convention I went to. Um, it was the local horror hound. And a young lady named Michelle Shields came there. And uh, she's an actress, an uh, up-and-coming uh, actress, I may add, because she's uh, she works she works for her own company. She has her own. Uh, she has a good friend who is her producer or agent, excuse me. But uh, she it was so friendly. But she was also just very talented. I got to I mean see uh, buy one of her movies. Or, well, it was well, not really a movie. But, uh, it was a DVD with a collection of her best hits on it. This is it. The best of Michelle Schultz. I mean, people gotta look at that. She's a pretty young lady, isn't she? The World of Weird Monsters show. She was, uh, in skits and that, and I'll put links to the short skits that she did. The best one was the, uh, Xbox 360 versus PS3 fanboy skit. Uh, making fun of these silly video game fanboys who... God forbid, won't just let people have their fun and play their video games. Oh, no, 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 no. They have to, uh, uh, be insulting and mean and stuff. So, uh, that was a hilarious skit. And also, Madame Zuzu. That was also hilarious. It's kind of like the horror version of Saturday Night Live. Just little skits and stuff. Some work better than others, but Michelle was always on. So, I'm glad they just put her in there because... Uh, the whole show was not bad, and what I mean is, you know, the DVD, uh, if you can find it, is worth getting. What I mean is, like, the parts without her were good, but the parts with her were better. And you can tell she's kind of a rising star. She had very, very small roles, kind of like, uh, walking, uh, standard roles in The Dark Knight and in Public Enemies. She's got a, uh, some movies coming out this fall, one called Post- Mortem America 2020 about it's a very 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 low budget uh, zombie apocalypse movie about America in a post war zone it's it's total chaos you'll have to see the trailer it, I, I can't describe it as good as what you can see it it's a rough cut so don't judge it until you see you know the the trailer is a rough cut version okay the actual trailer will not be up until I think July so You'll just have to use your imagination. It's in black and white, the trailer is. But from what I understand, the movie's not going to be. So, <clears throat> but it, it looks good, I think, so far. And uh, she also has uh, Frankenstein, Day of the Beast. Now, this one is not to be confused with the Guillermo del Toro one. This one is um, kind of different. Again, I don't want to give too much away. I don't like doing that. All I can say is I did see a trailer to this, and it looks creepy, very, very creepy. I will show you some pictures. Just to give you an idea of the young lady. She's very friendly. When you meet her, be prepared for a big, uh, friendly wave to, to, to fly by, because you'll just, you'll just basically think of your, her as your long-lost sister. She's that awesome. This is the first picture I took with her. Yeah, she's cute, isn't she? She is a nice person. She's from Chicago, Illinois. You know, I like that place. There's some wonderful people from Chicago. I got some good friends from there. Another one with her. Another hug. And then we tried doing the dance, but she had on big heels, so it didn't work. <laughs> there we go. But 
She's nice, and she's not just an actress. She actually did a comic book. Now, this was at Horror Hound only, so I don't know if you have a Horror Hound. I know there's one coming to Cincinnati in November, but if there's other Horror Hounds that are coming near you, you might want to pick this up. This is uh, Comic Book Divas, Fangs, and that is Michelle right there. Uh, they use real-life actresses. They get their permissions. And here is some of the artwork. It's been getting great reviews from people who have read it and stuff, saying that the writing is funny. It's kind of like a comic book version of True Blood. And the art is really good. And it's dark and funny. So if you're interested in comic books, you might definitely want to get that. And if you're interested in horror, you want to let that shot there. That's really creepy. Uh then you'll definitely want to uh, uh, get pick this up. And uh, here's some photos. Young lady was nice enough. Uh, a life behind the mask. Uh, she also is in the comic book of this. There you go. Look how much it looks like her. That's pretty cool. That's good artwork. And here's a photo I got of her. So probably the best one they had. Um, there we go, there. Yeah, what did I tell you, folks? She's, you'll fall in love with her when you meet her. Sorry, she did, she's got a boyfriend, I think, but, so, just be nice, guys, okay? Uh, remember, respect a young lady, and she's a young lady. Well, you know, uh, she even stood up for Indiana, since that's my home state. Uh, I appreciate that, Michelle. Uh, here we go, another picture of her. She's funny. Zombie in training. Uh, here we go. <laughs> she has a good sense of humor about herself. So, but here's my favorite picture because we got a big smile over her and everything. And she's got a YouTube. If you uh, guys want to subscribe and friend her on YouTube, then by all means, go right ahead. Um, I'll put up her YouTube page. And for all the little sissies and uh, crybags out there, if you do try, Michelle, do me a favor. Just block. These silly little sad morons, okay? If they come to your page, young lady, just block them. Don't waste your time, fellas, okay? So, well, uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I just wanted to tell you something about this young lady. And uh, let's see, I think she uh, she got some other movies coming up called Divorced Dudes. And the voice from beyond. Again, now Frankenstein: Day of the Beast. I do have the trailer for uh, Sister Mary. I don't know. I will see if I can if I can find the trailer. Uh, I don't think I have the link, uh, the, the official trailer. So I don't know if it is. If it's not, then I'm not going to put it up. But uh, some of the other ones, like Postmortem America, and some of the skits from. Uh, her DVD here of the World of Weird Monster Show, I will definitely put up for you to enjoy. And I hope you like her, because I really got a kick out of meeting her. And if you get a chance to meet her at a local horror convention, you will really, really enjoy her. She's an incredible young lady. And, you know, I'm not just saying this, she actually is a good actress. She's got a charm about her. She's very charming. She's kind of like the girl next door. With a little bit of, you know, she's feisty too, and she's very intelligent. She wrote that comic book I showed you, and she got another comic book, some more comic books coming out. So again, go to the her Facebook, her YouTube page, and stuff, and just ask her. Just say, hey, when's your stuff coming out? And she'll just give you a straight answer. That's that's the thing I like about her. She's not too big to talk to all of her fans. Well, okay, have a good weekend, everybody, and uh, good night.